They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he had told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. It is a common misunderstanding that being clingy and possessive are expressions of love. However, we know that unhealthy attachment only breeds jealousy and addiction to another, which has a potential of ruining the lives of both parties involved. Rather, true love operates in a way that empowers, and at times, the most helpful thing is to let go. Just as how Christ, through Mary Magdalene, is communicating to us that we mustn't cling on lest our own growth be stifled. God wants all of us to be empowered and grow in the freedom that is our essential birthright. The freedom to choose, the freedom to make mistakes, and the freedom to learn from these mistakes. However, when we do need assistance, the Holy Spirit is sent to advocate for us. As we are reeling from this pandemic, Let us keep in mind the serenity prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and inspiring day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.